All right, folks, let's talk about installing pistol sights. Um, let's start, first we'll talk about the rear sights, uh, then drift up to the front there. I've got an m &P slide up here. Um, you know, the principles that we're going to talk about here would apply to the Glocks or the Novak rear sights that I offer as well. Recommend using, you know, a punch and a hammer to drift the rear sight in versus using a sight press. And here's why. Most sight presses apply pressure to the wrong part of the sight. Um, most of your sight presses will end up applying pressure back here somewhere um, where we need to apply pressure. And the only place we need to apply pressure as we're installing the sights is on the dovetail. Okay, you got a dovetail on your sight, it presses into the dovetail on your slide. That is the only place you need to apply pressure. Okay, um, using a punch, either an aluminum punch, a brass punch, or one of the uh, different kinds of polymer punches that are out there will allow you to apply pressure directly to the dovetail on the site and push it directly at a right angle into the dovetail on the slide. Um, that principle will also apply to the front sights uh, on the case of this, or in the case of this M&P and the 1911 and 2011 sights in a cell. You have a dovetail sight up front there, a dovetail fit on the front there. Same concepts, apply pressure directly onto the dovetail portion of the site, not the blade, only on the dovetail of the site and apply that pressure directly all right, at a right angle, drifting the site into the dovetail on the slide using an aluminum, brass, or polymer punch. Worth noting on the M&P pistols, um, everything is designed to come out from right to left and to go in from left to right. So keep that in mind when, when you're installing my sights. All right, so if we're installing sights with a punch and a hammer, you definitely need a vise. I would recommend a sturdy vise and some padded vise jaws to keep from marring up your slide. Um, when you install the rear sight screw on any of the sights, I would recommend blue Loctite to hold that dude in there to keep it from vibrating loose. Uh, worth mentioning that all of my sights are designed to fit snugly in the dovetail and they're not held in place by that set screw. Um, set screw is just like some little extra insurance, but blue Loctite on there will keep that thing from coming out. Glock sights use a front sight screw to install them. I recommend using red Loctite on the front sight screw. All right, that's what I got. Thanks y'all for checking this out. Uh, follow on, or watch the follow on video talking about installing the fiber optic in the front sights. Hey, what's up y'all? I hope you were digging the video that you were just watching there. And if you'd like that and you'd like to know more, I recommend you go to my website, frankproctorshooting.com and subscribe to FPTV. There you're gonna find hours of detailed information on training and gear to help you shoot fast, accurate, and easy. While you're on the website, check out my training schedule, come out and train with me. Um, also take a look at the products I offer, see if they'll help you shoot. Speaking of shooting, time for me to get back to training.